Hi there and welcome to another Alex Brex banter. It's been a long time since I've made a podcast show and I thought I would try and get back into it this winter. We're all still stuck in lockdown and I'm coming to you still from the west coast of Scotland on my tiny little island. And it is freezing cold and I thought this would be an appropriate time to share a, a presentation that I'd originally went to do about two years ago for the famous Booker Prize winning author James Kelman who was supposed to come up and visit us on the mainland just close to where my island is and we were going to do a workshop and have an open mic night and I was going to do this uh, little uh, rap I suppose is the closest thing I could describe it as uh, as part of the open mic night but uh, being winter at the time, uh, the weather conspired against us and James Kelman couldn't make it up from Glasgow to visit us. So it didn't happen. Uh, luckily, he did manage to make it up a few weeks later for a workshop and I had a great time, met him, got to know him. A really nice guy, very, very um, uh, modest uh, but supremely talented writer. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get the chance to do the open mic, so um, I've been dying to do this for a long time. And it is on the theme of winter. And right now, you know, across the, the, the world, we're in this global pandemic, global shutdown. It's normally really, really cold in Scotland and really, really hot in Houston, Texas, uh, where I have some good friends. Uh, but right now in Houston, Texas, it is freezing cold, so I thought this would be a good time to to delve into this theme of winter. And the, the, the idea that uh, sparked this uh, whole thing that I'm going to do today came about when I read in a, in a Scottish newspaper that um, the, the, the cold winter uh, and the, the fuel poverty was having such an effect on the elderly population of Scotland that they were having to make that invidious decision between heating and eating. And I thought this was just terrible. It really affected me at the time. And even more so when I discovered that it's not just the elderly uh, in Scotland that have this uh, issue with not being able to afford to heat their homes or eat. Uh, it's also the young people of today. And right now, you know, the, the pandemic, the global shutdown has really adversely impacted probably more on the youth uh, economically than it has on the elderly population. Of course, it's a terrible, terrible thing across the board, but it is it's also the young that are really struggling uh, to make ends meet. So that's where the inspiration for this piece comes, and I hope you will enjoy it. Uh, it's a hard ride, but um, hopefully you'll enjoy it. So buckle up and uh, enjoy the ride. It's called Winter's Bite. She felt Winter's Bite sharply that morning. No money for the meter meant a painful warning that today would grow dark soon. But maybe sleep would be a boon when there's nothing to eat, not even stale bread that had been yesterday's meat with the last of the jam. And then, bam, an image in her head of her lying dead at a stranger's feet. She had to beat the icy grip of this lonely tomb. The kettle squandered the last of the electricity, and as she inspected the old tea bag in a room shrouded in steam, hoping it wouldn't rip, she wanted to scream at a city where winter was hard for those not picked for the team. No metal, perhaps, to withstand life's mishaps, but being kicked in the teeth is no more fun than staring down the barrel of a gun. Some might talk of snowballs and games, but when age stalks you with more pains than gains, hunger's rage you can't stomach any more, and each new page of your life piles up against your door, and you slip and slide towards that final score. The icy truth of a silent night is in the death of light. And at the age of 17, winter's bite is obscene and should never be seen. 
I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm going to try and um, broadcast on Alex Breck's banter more often in the future. So stay tuned. I'm going to uh, be speaking to a few other authors, interviewing them uh, over half an hour or so. And uh, hopefully you'll find that interesting. Uh, I hope you're also using lockdown to catch up on a bit of reading. Um, last year I published the fourth Ridge Walker thriller, um, the, the Lost Report. And at the moment, I am doing this as partly prevaricating to avoid finishing off my sequel to The Devil You Know, which was written a couple of years ago. So this sequel is provisionally titled The Devil Inside and is a very gritty Scottish thriller. And I uh, hope hopefully that will be ready for publication early summer uh, 2021, so uh, two or three months from now. So plenty of time to catch up. If you want to uh, grab my books, you can get them, of course, from most of the major online platforms or just at my website, uh, alexbreckbooks.com. And you can even buy a bundle package uh, personally signed by moi. So hopefully you enjoyed that today and I will uh, endeavour to post uh, more uh, frequent uh, shows for my Alex Brex banter podcast. Really enjoyed uh, doing this today. Hopefully I will catch up with you soon. All the best now. Bye bye.